Once uh, Cygnus uh, was uh, grappled uh, and a hard uh, handshake uh, was um, made between uh, the station's robotic arm and the cargo craft itself, uh, the robotics officer here in Mission Control took over and began to maneuver Cygnus into what is called the pre-install position. Again, this video captured a short time ago shows uh, the Cygnus with its signature Ultraflex solar arrays uh, being uh, placed uh, into the correct orientation uh, toward the Earth-facing side of unity uh, and the common berthing mechanism uh, to which uh, the uh, Cygnus spacecraft will be latched up to a short time from now. Everything has proceeded uh, on track uh, for the pre-install activities. Again, uh, this uh, at the current time, the robotics officer is carefully monitoring the orientation and the alignment of the uh, common berthing mechanism, the passive common berthing mechanism on the forward side of uh, Cygnus with the active common berthing mechanism on the Earth-facing side of the Unity module to make sure we have a precise alignment before he guides it in uh, for the so-called pre-install and ready-to-latch position that uh, will mark uh, the, the precursor to the actual bolting of Cygnus to the Earth-facing port of Unity. Station now uh, beginning uh, to move into an orbital sunrise, and once we uh, lock up voice communication with the crew, which should be momentarily, we should be seeing uh, activity uh, resume uh, with the robotics officer uh, nudging uh, the Cygnus cargo craft ever so close to its ready-to-latch position on the Earth-facing side of the Unity module of the International Space Station. There's a good close-up view of uh, the uh, Cygnus uh, ever so slowly being aligned and moved uh, towards uh, that open hatch, which is actually the common berthing mechanism. Uh, the uh, common berthing mechanism uh, will uh, receive uh, the passive side of uh, the Cygnus cargo craft uh, to permit uh, the start of uh, bolting. Again, there are 16 bolts, four gangs of bol four bolts apiece. Uh, that uh, will be latched up on commanding. The uh, robotic arm continues uh, to press in ever so slowly to what uh, ultimately will be the ready-to-latch position for Cygnus uh, on the Earth-facing port of the Unity module of the International Space Station. We should be there uh, in just a few minutes. Station Houston on two. SSRMS mode to limp is complete. Go for second stage capture. Capture and work. And we're standing by uh, for the final point of uh, the uh, mating of Cygnus to the International Space Station. Standing by for second stage capture call. Houston, first step seven. Uh, auto safing is inhibited. Go for SSRMS breaks on. You can ungrapple the element for timely. Copy that. Good news. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, the exercise constraint can now be lifted, and we'll put the safing in work for your next procedure regarding CBCS. And the good news uh, relayed up to Jeff Williams, uh, 9.52, 9.52 a.m. Central Time, second stage capture confirmed as the International Space Station passed 252 miles over the Pacific Ocean.